The first record I bought my own money. Let's go back and think. I believe it was Rocks from Aerosmith. That's a good, a good one. one. That's a very yeah. good one. <laughs> yeah. I was big when I was a kid. Um, my dad is into everything from soul to grand funk to Frank Zappa to everything. So I remember the first band or music that I was really into was like the Jackson five. Sure. So I, was, I was like four years old. I remember loving yeah. the Jackson five, but then I went and broke out. My cousin Ed was a big rock guy. So he was sharing all his records with me. So I learned about Aerosmith. I learned about uh, Ted Nugent. I learned about, you know, all those type of bands and players that he was into. I learned about Monty Python and the Holy Grail. You know what? <laughs> That was his move. That was the movie that he shared with me when I was like, I was young. Right. So, um, but yeah, I think it was rocks if I'm not mistaken, but then I, I really went from a lot of the classic rock into um, metal. I really enjoyed um, like some really hard stuff. I was a big anthrax fan when I was growing up. Sure. Um, Love Joey Belladonna. Sure. But then, you know, I went back to my roots, my father's roots as well, and really got into a lot of the R&B stuff. I love Terrence Trent Darby. I love Prince. I love D'Angelo. So I kind of run the gamut of, of music. So I was buying records uh, anywhere from, you know, Aerosmith all the way up to Slayer. Right. You know, and with R&B in the middle of it, you know, so. Awesome. What, um, what was the tune that made you stop and just go, oh, my God, what is that? And in a good way. Hmm. That's in, that's interesting. Uh, you know, my, I think one of my favorite songs of all time, and, and I remember it from being a kid, is I'm Your Captain from Grand Funk. Wow, nice and one. Yeah. Mark Farner, you know, like as I said before, is my idol. Like, that's my favorite singer of all time. I love Paul Rogers. I love Greg Allman. Um, there's so many other singers. I love Jeff Buckley and, and, like I said, Prince. But that was the first song I remember my dad playing, you know, his stereo that was on, like, cinder blocks. You remember in the old days, you oh, yeah. get up off the floor, so you had to put them on cinder blocks. Yep, yep. Um, and I remember that song. I remember the end of that song. And when I got older and I heard it again, I was like, wow, that's, you know, that's something that touched me that I remembered as a kid. Right. Mm -hmm. nice. Well, you got, um, I love Mark Farner too. Uh, mm -hmm. But I also love Don Brewer. His vocals are a lot of times just kind of overlooked. Not only a badass drummer, but he's a really good singer. Yeah. Re really rough edged voice. Um yeah. Black Licorice is one of my favorite Grand Funk songs. Um, yeah. I love Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker is amazing. Yeah. yeah, Heartbreak. How about that? That you know, Caught in the Act from 1974. I have that on video. Just oh, that okay. whole show. You know, the dynamic between those two guys and and Mel and and Craig Frost. Yeah. Just amazing. It's just a, it's a shame what they did to Mark. You know. Um, yeah. 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 I saw them in 2000 when they did the Bosnia tour. Yeah. I saw him in Red Bank, New Jersey, and I was in the second row. I've seen Mark um, probably four or five times, and that was the only time I saw him at Grand Funk. And then after that, they had all their legal issues and everything. But um, Mark still sings that stuff in the original key, and he kills it. Woo! Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Again, back to uh, Don Burr. Mel Shocker, one of my yep. absolute favorite bassists, and just is he's such a sly influence on so many people. Underrated underrated you never hear his name mentioned but you listen to those those bass lines from like the first three albums insane yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah i mean there's i think the most uh, recognition he's gotten in the 20 years is when homer simpson re referred to the bong rattling bass <laughs> of mel shocker yeah. but it, it's true man he just it's so it's just huge the, his groove is just ma massive yeah great great rhythm section